Hello, this is Richard Fan from Honeywell Lake Venture. We start Honeywell Lake Ventures to, to bring the intelligence to minimally invasive surgery, MIS. We believe that intelligent surgical system will make surgery more affordable and more accessible to people in remote and less privileged regions. There's many challenges in transforming current practice in surgery to the future, where most people would uh, have more affordable, more accessible uh, surgery through maybe a more autonomous and intelligent uh, surgical system or surgical robots. There are many challenges in technology, uh, regulatory and reimbursement and in industry monopoly. But of course, the opportunities uh, come with those challenges and allow our entrepreneur to innovate and disrupt the status quo, where we Honeywell Lake Ventures so want to be the catalyst for changes. The reality here I show is still a messy uh, surgical suite with a lot of different equipments or instruments from different manufacturers. Any powered instruments uh, will be from different manufacturers, just a lot of box together. But most of those instruments that we're using, there's so many of those are mostly analog. But everybody is saying that we are in a stage of a robotic surgical system, what we call a robot doc. But if you look at that, it's mostly a, um, just a mechanic arm holding different instruments. And there's many, many players uh, in general surgery, in uh, cardiovascular, in neuro, and so on and so forth. But they all similar. In a way, they are still using a mechanical arm hold the instrument, same old instrument you would use in the, in the most typical procedures. So where are we? I mean, really, if uh, you look at the open procedure, uh, that's uh, uh, a few hundred years story. It wasn't like that 40 years ago. And we use sutures and the scalpels. Then comes along with the instrument like a stapling device to make it a little bit easier. With the scope and the uh, orthotic device and RF device that made, uh, made the laparoscopic procedure uh, possible. And then the, the fancy system from uh, intuitive. A lot of people called um, um, the fancy uh, robotic uh, system is a robotic system. The fancy system from uh, intuitive surgical is not a robotic surgical system not even close to the metaphor we show in the sci-fi uh, clips. No, it's not. It's only a system that allows the uh, surgeons to sit down, to be, gui uh, be guided with three-dimensional imaging, and uh, translate the filtering the motions from surgeons to mechanical arms uh, holding different instruments, perform a typical lap laparoscopic procedures. Actually, a nice share of those procedures are hysterectomy and postectomy. It's not even as autonomous as those uh, used in automobile assembly line. By itself, we cannot function, we cannot operate on patients, they're not even the simplest of procedures. All those systems, uh, they, they are not connected, they cannot communicate uh, with each other. Sometimes they cannot even communicate with the, the interfactor they are using. So there's no base for uh, AI. So to sum it up, so we're at the stage 2.0 or 2.5 at the most. If we want to move forward, we need to convert analog device to digital device. Now the smartphone now is what we really want for our, or what we vision in Honeywell, the intelligent surgical system to be. We have more sensory in different surgical instruments. We have uh, some autonomous action by itself. It should be an integrated system that you can see and treat and heal without the limitation of current clinical protocol, clinical specialties. Honeywell Lake Ventures uh, was founded to do just that. We uh, dedicate uh, ourselves to the transformation of our current surgeries to where surgeons can use smart device, smart instruments in complex procedure and maybe a map pod or system handle simple procedures. We need an open shared system like uh, Android, you see, that allows those developers, those uh, uh, people developing a surgical instrument to, to share the same common um, uh, operating system. So 
can we make some of those procedures, simple procedures, automatic? Especially when there is no alternative, like getting stasis, the stop bleeding in an emergency, battlefield or remote areas. Hollywood Lake Ventures uh, wants to find the holy grail, see, treat, and heal in surgery. The intelligence is the key. Currently, optic imaging, the scope, the scopes uh, are the eyes for surgeons, are designed for human surgeons. If decision makers are surgeons with different sensors other than human eyes, we can have different way of saying registration and uh, guidance uh, during the procedure. It should be a paradigm shift. Surgical navigation assumes a map and the registration of the instrument in a human setting for surgeons. Can we use a lower resolution impedance mapping, infrared imaging, or other imperfect modalities together with pre-acquired CTMI imaging or data to guide the end factors to treat the patients? We sure can do that. So for sim similar procedures, a common standard allow all those units or med to, to make machine learning possible. Honeywell Lake Venture is here to work with our partners in the core to disrupt those markets. A smart instrument can be one that will achieve to identify itself or a GPS module to do Many more, there's uh, many, many different kinds of sensors that are available now. So can we have an open and a shared um, system and uh, inside a con central control unit uh, in our breathing table, which delivers energy uh, to all those instruments and that control those instruments that we're using in a typical operating suite. You can call it a part. It, it can control all those units, share data, and it will form the base of AI. Honeywell Lake Venture is named after the place in China where I grew up. Honeywell Lake is in the middle of nowhere in China. I've seen the disparity in information access and, and also in medical service between the poor and the rich and between those uh, have and those have not, between US and the developed countries. I do think intelligent surgical system or something resembles to MedPod in the sci-fi clip can help to bridge the gap to operators uh, because the operator uh, using those such system won't need so much training and the system can even tackle some basic uh, procedure autonomously. Eventually, Honeywell's uh, mission is to make complex procedure easier and an easy procedure automatically. I want to invite you guys, uh, our partners in the course, to work with us in this great endeavor. Thank you.